I'm Piers Campbellidge. Um, I have been working in investing, private equity investing in emerging markets for a number of years. At the moment, I and some partners are working together to build an investment manager investing in sustainable agriculture, primarily in Africa and Latin America. It's a company called Global Sustainable Capital Management based in London. The team is the most critical piece for an investor of any part of your investment pitch, any part of your proposal. The old adage, you know, in real estate, people talk about location, location, location. In investing, it's management, management, management. And that is absolutely critical. And the reason is very simple. It's because the investor is entrusting his cash or her cash to you and you're going to make money on it, but they want to make absolutely certain that they feel really comfortable you're the people who are going to be able to do that well. And part of it's just simply the, the trust aspect that they want to make sure you're not going to run off with that money, but they've got all sorts of ways of protecting that. Much more importantly is, are you able to do a better job than they are or a better job than someone else is at actually making money for them by taking their investment and, and really making it work well? So you have to bring together a team. If you're a one-person a one band, uh, it's very difficult to really build a business. You need people around you who are going to help you to do that. And you bring together a team which you present. Now, one of the most critical things about that, and I as an investor have always used this as my sort of comment to entrepreneurs, is I want to see a constellation. I don't want to see a group of stars. You can bring together, you can show me a team where you've got a CFO who's a brilliant CFO and you've got a manufacturing person who's fantastic and the most wonderful marketing lady. But unless I really feel that between all of you there is connectivity and that you can work well together as a team, then I'm going to be very cautious. I will look at each individual and I'll say, that's fine. But I'll say, OK, now tell me how it is that you're going to make this work together. Because just as I'm going to be an investor in your business for three, five, seven years, you're all going to be working together for three, five, seven years. You're going to be running and building that business. And I want to make sure that you're going to be comfortable working together, that you're going to be able not only to do it because you're brilliant, but actually to work as a team, that you're going to be able particularly to have really rough conversations with each other and come out of those. You know, you're going to have those, those angry fights that everyone has in a business, but you come out of it still focused on making the business work. So what do we need in the team? Over, over, across the whole team, what do we really want to see? We need to have you being strategic and with a clear vision. That's, that's absolutely critical. And we need to feel, as investors, that if the business goes a little bit off course, that you're going to be able either to say this new course is going to be more profitable or to bring it back on course. So that's very important too. That is a little bit related really to your ability to execute, but it's also the strategy behind that course definition. But then you've got to have an ability to execute. It's great to have wonderful ideas, but unless you can translate those ideas into a business that generates cash, then that's no use to any of us. We need you to be a safe pair of hands. We don't want you to be taking unnecessary risk because you're taking unnecessary risk with our money. We need you to understand how to scale up the business because we're investing in a small business and we're expecting it to grow. We need to understand that you're going to be able to do that, that you're not going to reach a limit in the market or at the size of the business, a limit of competence, which means that actually either we've got to really work with you to change management, and that may mean changing you, or the business is going to just hit a wall and not grow anymore, and we won't get the returns we're looking for. We need you to have a really deep understanding of the environment. That's the local environment you're working in and the broader market environment, because you've got to be able to navigate that where, again, we're trusting you to know that because we don't know it. We don't know all the details of what's around, but we have to believe that you really do. We want you to be very clear on your decision making. We want to understand how it is that you, as the CEO and founder, 
how you make decisions, how you take decisions with your CFO, with your marketing person, in a way which actually means that all of you are aligned in that decision, but that you don't take too long. You're not into analysis paralysis, that you actually make decisions and get on with it, but you can do that as a group together. We like you to tell us also, and this is when you're pitching to the investor about the team, one of the best things you can do is talk about your war stories. Talk about the scars you've got. Don't just talk about how wonderful everything is. Talk also about the problems you've had. It's like a job interview. You know, when a job interview and the interviewer says to you, well, what was a challenge you had and how did you overcome it? Exactly the same thing. We need to know how you overcame the challenge. We need to understand because that helps us to sort of helps us to calibrate and helps us to say, okay, these people have been around the block. They've had some rough patches, but they've come out of those rough patches. I'd much rather know someone who's done that than someone who's always had a rosy trajectory because at some stage the problems are going to happen and I want to know how they're going to deal with it. Another thing around the team, that's your core team. The other thing is surround yourself with good advisors. You need to get a challenging board. Try and build a board of people who are not going to be just simply saying yes. It's not an approval mechanism. A board is really there to challenge you. It's to ask you about your strategy. It's to press you on your strategy. It's to press you on risks and make sure that they, you understand the risks and that they feel comfortable you do. It's to press you on your numbers, which is actually really all about execution, and to make sure that you really know how to do that well. But so surround yourself with advisors who can be really challenging. Try and get mentors. Um, get a board, which is good. Construct a board that is good. Show that board. It may just be an advisory board. You're a young business. You can't afford to pay for a very big professional board. Just an advisory board. But they've got to be friends who are prepared to be tough with you. And that will really stand out well with the investors as well. Um, look for mentors. Try and get a mentor in the same business that you're investing in. Maybe that mentor is one day going to be part of your exit route. But get a mentor who's really able to say to you now, I've been around the block on this. I know what happens in this business. I've seen this before. I've seen that before. Try and get someone like that alongside you. And one little caveat about the team. Um, be careful about politicians and politically exposed people, persons, the peps because that can scare off the investors. You may be tempted, if you've got a business which has got some kind of regulatory environment, you know, you're in a telecoms business or you need licenses, you may say, oh, well, I got the local MP on my board or whatever. Don't, don't. It, it, it scares investors. The world doesn't work that way anymore. It may work that way, but it shouldn't work that way. Okay? So, just coming then to conclude on this particular topic, the key pieces that I really want to talk about for the team, make sure that you have a constellation rather than just a group of individual stars who aren't linked together. Secondly, really convey to the investors all of the various different aspects of a business that that team can look after, the competencies that they bring together. And thirdly, surround yourself with good advisors. Music